So far, I've racked up a little over 200 kills at the new Vedion boss, and I haven't died once. How did I do this? Well, I'll tell you. I'm so confident in this method that later on in this video, I'll be killing Vedion in absolute max melee. Of the three new Willy bosses, Vedion is the only one that will move towards you but not actually attack you directly, so we can use this to our advantage. As you drop down, run towards the exit and stand here, then proceed to do the entire Vedion kill from this spot. Obviously, the reason why we're doing this is so that we can have a quick getaway when PKers drop in. Since we're only two tiles away from the exit, that means we need just one game tick to escape. And since PKers have to wait for the animation stall to get into the lair, you theoretically should be able to get away 100% of the time. After you click on the exit, use your minimap to spam click in any direction. Be careful not to lose any time here because you will only get gap if you don't lose any ticks. You're put in a random spot in the escape tunnels, but the exit locations will always be the same, so make sure you highlight the exit that is closest to singles. That would be this one here. Finally, exit the tunnels and run into singles. From there, you should be fine. If you get hit after you're in singles, then get naked and freeze them with the 20 ice barrage sacks that you brought with you and walk under. Seems simple, right? Well, it does have some drawbacks. The biggest ones are the lightning that Vedion summons and his dogs. You can usually dodge all of the lightning within the nine tile exit space. However, there will be times when the lightning hits the middle of the space and for those, you will have to step out. These small time frames can leave you more vulnerable if a team drops in. So if you're overly worried, I'd say just tank the damage. Just make sure you're not standing directly on top of a lightning hit. For the dogs, they can either be simple or very annoying depending on where they spawn. Sometimes they're on the other side of Vedion, forcing you to step outside of the exit area to kill it. For times like this, I'd say just try and kill it as quickly as you can and be very ready for a team to drop in. Now that we've gone over the basics, let's get into 55 mil rest setup and head to multi. I'm going to go for 100 kills in this setup, and obviously I'll need to bank occasionally for supplies. But first, let's talk about your ball. You know, life's not always about balls. Sometimes it's about beards and smelling as good as Guthix. How do you know that Guthix smells good? It's just a phrase, man. It doesn't need to make sense. Sponsored by Manscaped, the best product for men. And can also be used by any ladies out there. That's right, I'm talking to all 1.1% of you. As you can see, they gave me some lovely products to try out, those including the beard shampoo, some beard conditioner, and a lovely beard hedger, which has about 20 different lengths that you can set it to. For me, that's about half a centimeter since I'm Norwegian and incapable of growing any significant amount of hair. But for what I had, it got rid of it nicely. In addition, I also received these lovely trimmings scissors as well as some beard oil so your stubble doesn't feel like a porcupine on your chin. Finally, we have the beard brush and beard comb, which I wasn't able to test for very obvious reasons, but the material is good quality and those with more facial hair will certainly get some use out of it. So if you like this package or maybe other products for your package, then use my code POTION to get 20% off and free shipping from the link in the description. Thanks again to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. You know, something wrong with this is that I do take damage with this method, and it's not going to be very comfortable eating up all of the little food that I have in my inventory just because I get hit by the lightning doing this safe spot. Getting paranoid. Oh, that was an 81! Max hit before this with the black dehyde setup was a 78. There's the big drop. 500k sand few serums. Love that. Of course, you should never do what I just did. I used my spec on my Ursine chain maze to kill one of the hellhounds. You should always save that for your Staff of the Dead spec, which I'm probably going to forget to use whenever a clan does hit me, so. Oh, great. Oh, and I've gone the wrong way, too. I'm going to give this guy the, uh, the ring around the rosy, and I think he gave up. Oh, that didn't take long. What? Wait a minute. How on earth did he get that? That was an instant entangle, it seemed like. Well, thank goodness he's not with the team. As you can probably tell, this is why I can't do a no banking video at Vedion, because even though this method is almost foolproof for getting away, it just wouldn't last me for 1,000 kills, especially if I was in high risk. 85. That is the max. Although I'm only potted to 116, so it could be an 86. But yeah, 85 right now at 116 strength. Oh boy. Oh, I, I messed up. I messed up badly. This is it. This is my death. No way. I actually made it out. Oh my god. That was a scary one. I got very lucky on some freezes there. Oh boy. Oh, the exit's so far away. I think he actually got a, a cast off on me there. Oh, he definitely did there. We're out. All right, we got the heart rate monitor back up and running again. Sorry, I just forgot for the first portion of this video. It can be pretty difficult avoiding all this lightning in such a small space, but you do get used to it. Ah, uh, and this is, the, uh, this is the worst spawn right here, when you get the dog behind Vedion. So we lure this one over here. This one's easy. But then this one, I... Oh, oh and that is exactly why. And we are probably dead. Ah... Uh. Yep. Ah, oh, I 
tell ya. You know, it's crazy to be explaining the exact thing that is possibly going to happen, and then it just ends up happening. Oh, and I forgot to staff spec too. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Yeah, I'm certainly not gonna jip you guys. I am going to 100kc no matter how many times I have to die. Although I am hoping that that was the last death. For sure the biggest problem with the tank test itself was that I did not have a triple eat. Now I do, so that should help out. And also, I am definitely 100% going to remember to use my staff spec. Here we go again. I think I was slightly slow on that. He might get one cast off and we are good. Oh my God, we just got the skull of Eddie. Oh my goodness. And it's 600K. Wow. Last time I got this, I believe it was two mil, maybe four mil. I can't remember exactly, but yeah, that's, that's real sad. I don't understand why they didn't just make the Accursed Scepter best in slot at one of the new bosses. For some reason, they just decided not to. And now it is 600K. Oh, big 87, the biggest hit you can possibly hit. That's so beautiful. I just want to let it sink into your heads that I hit an 87 with a four tick weapon. No way we just got another skull. <laughs> oh my God. Come on, man. I think that's one in 200. I, I don't know the exact drop rates. Maybe it's one in 100 actually. Woo, that was a spooky one, especially since we were low on food there. Magic logs. Oh, did you see that four-way switch? Yeah, you did. Beautiful. Imagine being in multi with 55 mil risk, and this is your inventory of food. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. That was bad. Yep, that was really bad. Let's use it. I'm gonna remember. I remembered. I remembered to use the spec. Are you proud of me, mom? And we're good. Yeah, that was a really good thing that I decided to staff spec there because if I didn't, that would be possibly death, especially with the food that I was on. All right, we're a little over halfway there. 52 kills now. There's the grimy Snapdragon drop. Lovely. Um, why was there a PKR there? No way, bro. How was there a PKR there? I'm so confused. The backup gang just came in and right at the last second too. I have never been hit by somebody that saw me in the escape tunnels. And there's a good reason for that. Not only do the bears and spiders do a lot of damage in the escape caves, but there's also a mechanic where the longer you stay inside of the cave, the more damage is dealt to the person, which is a really great mechanic, honestly. It prevents things like scouting. And don't get me wrong, using a scout outside of the caves would make this method even better. But I have a sneaking suspicion that Jagex is probably going to do something about the scouting because it is currently on every single world. I'm not even kidding you. It is like, look at this. Almost every world there is somebody scouted outside of the cave. And whether it's for PKing or whether it's the person that's actually in the cave watching for PKers, it's just really, really bad right now. Whoa, oh my God, the dragon pickaxe coming in. It sucks that this is at 2.4 mil, but that is still a good chunk of change there. I should almost bank after that, but of course that's not what we do on this channel. Let's keep going. I don't think that was a PK or actually. He didn't have a skull, but he looked like he was in PK gear. Whatever, we're going to be able to bank our dragon pickaxe. That's the second one I've actually gotten in this video. The first one was when I was in the cheap setup, so there's an extra 5 mil. Looks like I won't lose too much money for this video. Not again. Man, did he do a cast there? I think I was in full Torva when he did. I swear, it feels like every single time there's a hellhound behind Vedion, I try and kill it and a team drops in. That was just one guy, I think. But still, I gotta say, Vedion is a really fun boss to kill. Out of the three, he is by far the most fun. This is actually a really good trip so far. I think we've gotten over six kills. Shoot. Oh, I thought they got the I thought they got the freeze on me. They might have actually splashed. 89 KC, 11 to go. I took him from a little bit above 50% to 19% in one hit. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, two more kills to go. And I'm doing it in this inventory unless a PKer comes in. Our supplies are very, very low, but this is the last kill. Here it is. That's it. 100 Vedion kills in max melee. I wish I could say it was without dying, but, uh, well, you know, that's not the case. 75 kills without dying, though. All right, this is what we got from the 100 KC. Let's go ahead and sell it all.
All right, and the total loot from 100 kills at Vedion, 13.3 million coins. And of course, that was in max gear. Now, do I recommend this amount of risk at Vedion? Absolutely not. But it was just to show you that the method mostly works, unless you get really unlucky. Anyways, check out this trailer. Is it possible to obtain 111 Laren's keys without banking a single time? Let's find out. Abyssal demons. It's a good task, but I, this is the one I was scared about because I don't know if I can safe spot these or not. A big thanks to Mr. Snowmiser, Hamster King 5, Me IRL, and Samuel Peterson.